I don't, I don't know if I don't know if one approaches the job of being a judge in a municipal court with a with a particular vision for what they want a city to look like. This is a municipal court. It's 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 a it is the lowest level court um, of general jurisdiction that we have. I have a vision for this city that is not necessarily going to be something that I can implement as a housing, as a, as a city court judge, or even as a judge assigned to housing court for a full 10 years. But um, you know, what always in, informs my view of things in this city is the fact that I moved here from somewhere else. I came here in 1981 from Brooklyn. And for many years, Buffalo seemed almost like a small town to me. Um, I live here by choice. I love it here. And I have uh, what people sometimes call the zeal of the convert. I, I have walked every inch of this city over the last 20 years that I've been a lawyer here as housing court public defender. Uh, and my colleagues used to make fun of me because I would bicycle ride all over the city with my Polaroid camera to take pictures for habitability hearings. I love the neighborhoods of this city and, and my vision for this city is that it become a place where every neighborhood um, has its own identity and none of those neighborhoods are necessarily the kind that you can write off or you can kind of dismiss and say, well, you know, it's, it's no longer safe to live over there or it's, it's not desirable to live over there. Every part of this city has different things that make it an attractive place and you should be able to buy a house and be secure that your neighbors are not going to simply let their houses fall apart. You should be able to pay your taxes and send your kids to school in every neighborhood of this city without worrying that some neighborhoods have inspectors assigned to them constantly and other neighborhoods don't. These are not questions that generally are going to be solvable by a city court judge, but they're, they're larger issues and I think the message has to be sent starting somewhere. And if that message starts in city court as it did when Judge Nowak made it clear that he was not going to treat different neighborhoods differently and he was not going to treat enforcement as meaning one thing in the Fruit Belt and another thing in the Elmwood Village, I think that does translate. And if I have a vision for what I want to do in housing court, I want to make housing court a place where everybody gets treated the same, where a big developer doesn't get a pass, where uh, a low-income homeowner doesn't get to ruin a whole street just because of the reality that they're low-income homeowners. There are ways for us to deal with different problems, and it doesn't have to be a one-size-fits-all kind of a solution where you know, we're slapping the same fine on people and maybe that fine is incredibly punishing to one person and meaningless to another person. We have to be able to craft solutions that address the problems and not just uh, band-aid over the symptoms of an issue. Hi, uh, my name is Prish Moran and um, I'm a longtime resident of the west side of Buffalo, and um, I am also a business owner in the multi-use building that um, I'm sitting in the last part of the, the restoration end of my project uh, now over at the corner of Grant and Lafayette. It's a mixed-use building where uh, I have uh, 14 um, residents, and I have five commercial businesses, and I personally employ in the Sweetness 7 Cafe um, 18 employees. Um, the, the importance for me of speaking out right now has to do with um, how I got my building, and it, it comes home to me having a progressive um, judge on the uh, in our courts because uh, Hank Nowak was someone who helped me to get this building. Uh, with a, um, a landlord that had it boarded up for many, many years. Uh, at this point, I can say that um, without having someone like Hank Nowak uh, to facilitate the sale and work with the owners uh, to get a, um, an end use that was going to benefit um, 
not only the city itself, but many of the residents of the city by giving them a place to live and work, etc. But uh, Gillian Brown is someone that I feel strongly about. Knowing him, number one, and now that he's running for office, I feel strongly that he's someone that's going to continue what was done and move forward and do even more for people like myself that uh, have a strong love for the old buildings and uh, help to match people up with the end use of the building that's going to you know not only uh, benefit buffalo but particularly um, the neighborhood where the buildings exist and are in in need of care right now so um, my story really is um, multifold just because i am a, a uh, a person that uh, has a business here and I restore, but I also live here and I have children here. And for me, the housing stock in Buffalo um, needs to have someone who understands it, works well with the community activists that are working to um, put people into homes or businesses. And I just want to say that uh, Gillian Brown is someone that I feel strongly will help all of us to move forward in the direction that Buffalo needs to go, which is keeping the housing stock as well as um, working well with the community groups to see what needs to be done for our city.